This is Rob with SaveNet AT, and today we'll be integrating Microsoft Azure Hold Your Own Key or Bring Your Own Key with our Luna SA HSM for Government. Using this feature, we'll be able to generate our own key and store and manage that key ourselves, and we'll be able to import that to Azure for use with other services there. You'll want to have the Luna client already configured so that we have a connection to the HSM. We have other guides and videos available that can help with that. Here I'm running the VTL verify command just to verify that we do have the client configured correctly. To use this feature, we will need to use the key export version of our Luna SA HSM. This model allows wrapping of the private key off of the HSM to be used with other services. So our first step here will be to actually generate a key on the HSM that we'll be able to use. From the Luna client directory, we'll use the CMU generate key pair command. We'll give it a label for the private key label for the public key. Key type is RSA. Modulus is 2048. And we'll allow it to be used for signing, verifying, and it will be extractable. So we'll set sign, verify, and extractable to true. We need to enter the password for the HSM. We'll select PKCS number one. And then we'll select 65537, option 3. Now if we do CMU list, we'll be able to see that we now have the private and public keys created. Our next step will be to create a certificate. We'll use the CMU self-sign certificate command, giving it the private handle, as we see above from CMU list command, the handle for the private key was 223. The public handle is 216. And we'll set the key usage to digital signature and key encipherment. We're prompted for the password. And then we need to create a certificate serial number. Here I'll use 123456. And now we need to enter fields for the certificate. These values will depend on your particular configuration. And then we'll specify a start date and end date for the certificate validity period. Now if we use the CMU list command and enter our password, we'll see the certificate has been created here with handle 191. Now that we have the keys and a certificate created, we'll need to obtain the HSM PKCS 12 utility. This is available from support. We'll extract the contents of this file, and we see we have an executable, a DLL, a registry entry, and a text file. The DLL needs to be copied to the Windows System32 directory. In order to add the correct registry settings, we'll double click the reg file. And here Windows will prompt and make sure that we really want to edit the registry. And confirm that we do want to add these values. And 
And we could run this file from this directory, but I prefer to copy the executable file over to Program Files, SafeNet, Luna Client. That way it's in the same directory as the CMU utility. And lastly, we will need to add a few lines to the christoki.ini file. That's in Program Files, SafeNet, Luna Client. This file may not be directly editable, so you may want to make a copy of this file into a directory that you do have read-write access to, edit your settings, and then copy the file back. So at the very end of the file, we'll add a section called HSM PKCS12. And under this section, we'll add two lines, import.token.label and export.token.label. Both will be set to the name of the partition that you see when you run VTL Verify. Now that we have everything configured, we can run the HSM PKCS12 executable. We can run it with the name of the file, HSM PKCS12.exe dash dash export. The first thing I'll do here is option two, list certificates. And I can see handle 191 is the certificate that we created. And under this list, you also see it lists the handle 223 for the private key. So now we'll use option three to export certificate and key. We'll give the certificate handle, here mine is 191, and then we'll give it a file name for the output file. We also need to specify a password for this file. You'll need to keep track of this because we'll need to enter this on Azure when we import the key. Now that we're done, we can hit zero for exit. And if we look in our directory, we now have this PFX file that we created. So now on the Azure portal, we can click on all services. Scroll down to security and key vaults. Here we can add a new key vault. We're going to call this key vault SafeNet AT InSAT Need to specify our subscription, resource group, location, etc. And if we click refresh, we'll see the key vault that we created. Now selecting the key vault, we can pin that to our dashboard for quick access later. And then in our key vault, we'll select keys and create a key. Here we choose the option to import. We'll need to select the file name for the PFX file we created. Here we need to enter the password that we used when we wrapped that key. And we'll need to use a unique name for this key. I'll use SafeNetAT Azure HYOK. 
Optionally, we could set an activation date and an expiration date. And then we click Create. So now under our keys, we can see this key listed. And it's now available for us to use within Azure. And this concludes our integration of our SafeNet AT, Luna SA, HSM for Government with Microsoft Azure. Please be sure to check out some of our other guides and videos online for more information about how we integrate with other products.